Susanna says, for every A word com committed throughout the world, there's some disaster happening in the world. God have mercy on us and on the whole world. Yeah, you know, we can't continue to politically support and promote the murder of innocent people and expect that we're going to prosper and everything's going to be good. That's just not, go read the Old Testament. Go read the apocalypse. God loves us, all right? God loves us. He wants us all to go to heaven. He wants us to become saints. So when sin multiplies, just like a father, he disciplines. Discipline hurts. Discipline's not fun. The children are like, why do we have to be disciplined? You're being disciplined because your father loves you. He wants to correct you. You're on the wrong path. He says, nope, you got to come over here to the correct path. Well, I don't want to. I like over here. We got candy and all. It's kind of like in uh, Pinocchio. You know, you get to eat candy and smoke cigars and play pool. Yeah, but then you turn into a donkey. Literally, you turn into an, an ass. So we get disciplined. Discipline comes in the form of, what is it? You've read the Bible. You've read the Old Testament. You've read the New Testament. Plagues, diseases, pestilence, starvation, wars. These are the things that are recurring. Division, civil wars, bad leaders, tyrants, all of these things are discipline, disciplinary measures for people in rebellion against God. That's why it's loving for us to talk about these things. People say, well, Taylor, you should just not talk about it because like, then they'll be angry at us and we'll lose our Latin mass. No, we have to talk about it. It's righteousness. It goes back to octa non verba. Are we going to do something about it? 